Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we worked on routing our chlorine production and the sodium hydroxide to uh, this little process here to convert it into, what is this stuff called? Sodium hypochlorite. So got that all done. And then started trying to work out how we're going to work the ammonia system because we need the ammonia for several different things and one of them is to convert the sodium hypochlorite into monochloramine gas so what i went ahead and did is worked on this little thing where i have this large bank of interconnected tanks routed all the plumbing from the from these guys into those tanks with various pumps coming off of them for all of the various chemical plants that are going to be needed to, you know, have an ammonia input. So this should hopefully work. We'll see. All right. So if we look at this... I did some adjustment for how many chemical plants we're going to be using here. So I want to try and keep in each input less than a thousand per second for each chemical plant. This kind of was my aim here. So that should hopefully work. And so we're going to need seven chemical plants for this process. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and get rolling. And then we're going to need to route the sodium hypochlorite at a rate of what? 112.5 per second for this. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. It's going to need at least two lines. Yeah, two lines should be fine. I'm going to route this back through here and across there. Okay. caught up in the pipes. Let's see there. Okay, so can I get all the way across there? I can. There we go. Alright, so those are our, our input lines. And here is going to be our... I want to make sure I leave room here because we're going to need to be doing some stuff with some belts. And if I counted this out right, I should be able to take each of these pumps directly into a chemical plant for this. Well, for everything that's going to need one. So, let's 
Uh, that should work. Um, hmm. Where would this be? There it is. No. That's not what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Monochloramine. Monochloramine. There it is. Okay. Okay. Power. There we are. Okay, so I have to get two inputs and deliver to seven things. Let's see. Do how how would a two to seven balancer look? I fit this somewhere? Yes. <laughs> but I will probably have to move these. Okay, that's no problem. Should probably have put that in first. Let's see, so we're going to need one, two, one, two, for the loader, yes. So then each of these is going to take an input. All right. And I'll just keep all these on the surface. Should be fine. I should have ample room for that. I don't think I'm going to need to bring any pipes through here, but, you know, if I have to, I can always put it underground at that point. Alright, so there we go. That does look like to be balancing out pretty well. Alright, so how much output are we getting out of this thing? 1125 per second monochloramine gas. So I probably want to split that into two, at the very least. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'll 
I'm gonna link Link these together, but I want to split them four and three, so like that. All right, then I want to take two. Two tanks, link them together. Ah, right, right, right. These guys need, uh... How many per? Two. Two modules per. All right. And each of these pipes is fine, not overloading, very good. And each of these belts is looking good. We don't seem to be having any issues, except for you for some reason. Why are you not doing anything? Ah, because I haven't hooked the ammonia up to it. There you go. Now we're definitely seeing some more load on these belts. But it shouldn't exceed what we're inputting, so... There we are. Alright. The next thing we need to do is we need to take the ammonia gas, combine it with the methanol gas to make methylamine, methylamine gas. Methylamine gas. Yeah, so we're going to have purified water as the byproduct. Right, because that's actually what we want. We want that purified water as a byproduct. So we have our methanol gas here, which is going to have to be routed. Let's see. What's the total amount of methanol we're going to have produced here? How much were we making? 750 per second? Okay, that's fine for a single line. We should have split that easy. Alright. Now, this is probably going to need to be reduced to, or dropped to two. Because we're going to need to split that input, because I don't want to put 1500 per second through a pipe by itself. Uh, let's see. All right, so I want two. I actually may need to be bringing some pipe through here. Ah, it's all right. All right, let's see here. You connect to there, you connect to there. Actually, I need to see what inlet we're using for which. 
So this is uh, methylamine gas, which looks like that. Okay, good. Ammonia in there, ammonia in there. And then we need to go grab that methanol. I'm going to route the pipe through here. So there we are. And that produces 1125. And then we're going to need to take that stuff, the meth the methylamine and more methanol to make dimethylamine gas. Excellent. Okay. Well, for one thing I'm going to need to do is divert this purified water output somewhere else. I'm going to need two more chemical plants. I'm also going to need to break in and grab another line of meth methanol here. But hopefully, let's see what the inputs look like. Uh, let's see, we're making dimethylamine. Perfect. That's actually perfect. All right. So you route in there. That positioning should be fine. You route into there. You guys are going to be making more byproduct purified water. And we just need to bring... Some more of that through. All right, excellent. Okay, so, oh, right, 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 we need to link that together. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the purified water in a tank. I'm wondering, should I have tanked between these two? I think I will. And I actually spaced this out perfectly. There you go. Oh, problem is, this is going to need to run continuously because I need that water. Actually, how much water do I need? How 
How much purified water do I need? 500 per second. So yeah, I need from both. Just trying to think, how do I want to handle this? Uh, let me... Let me do this. Um... Because it's going to need to run continuously because I have two products that I need to keep going. So I can't let one back the other up. Which is the slight conundrum that I'm in. Alright, so you're going to be there. Okay. Alright, so you're going into there. Alright, so any overflow goes into there. We will... Let's see, this is a gas, so it needs to be vented. So what I'll do is I'll get a couple of overflow valves and a couple of uh, these guys. Get some modules on them. And some power, obviously. There we go. Okay. And then what we're going to need as well is another tank here that is going to take input. And input. Ah, right. These guys need modules. Four and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. Alright, purified water. And this is also going to need an overflow valve. And we're going to need... It's what, 750 per second? Because we're doing what, three, 375, no, 375 and 375. Yeah, 750 per second. There's actually going to be another 375. Oh. But I'll handle that on its own. I will handle that on its own. Because I don't need that 375. I need this 375. Alright, make sure that that can handle whatever we throw at it. Excellent. 
And then all of this dimethylamine gas needs to get thrown into a tank. Two tanks? What's my output level? Yeah, two tanks. There we go. And these are gonna need fence as well. Because we're also gonna need to keep the water running. There we go. Okay. Uh, even with two, we probably need more than that. Okay, so... Another one? You can see, this is the nitrogen dioxide. This water is going to be routed to that. Okay, yep, that handles it. Okay, so, what's next? What's next is we now need to take our monochloramine gas and our dimethylamine gas and combine it to create dimethylhydrazine. And again, I'm gonna need at least two of these. There we go. Actually, I'm going to want probably another pump over here specifically for this. All right. And another couple of pumps. And another couple of these. And this is one of the major components of our... Rocket fuel, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, dimethylhydrazine, dimethylhydrazine, and that's wrong. Okay. Okay. For one thing, this purified water is going to be disposed of because we don't need it. As I mentioned before, this purified water is going to be disposed of completely. Make sure that it can handle it, hopefully. There we go. And we need our monochloramine. Uh, 
And there is dimethylhydrazine. We need to make sure we put the speed modules in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And dump those into tanks. There we are. Is that handling it? It seems like it is. Let me just add another one just to be sure. Does it overflow this one at all? It doesn't seem to, but I'll keep it there for insurance anyway. All right, so I think we'll go ahead and end here. It's around time. So what we're going to do next is divert the purified water over here to make the nitric acid. All right, and so we'll have our dinitrogen tetroxide, which is here. And we will have our nitrogen, our nitric acid. And then we can combine the dinitrogen tetroxide and the nitric acid and make our 100 per second. Rocket oxidizer capsule. Yes, 100 per second rocket oxidizer capsule. We'll need seven chemical plants for that. Interesting. Can I make that eight? Yes. I'll make things a bit more even because I'm going to need two. Two sets of belts for that. So yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, so that'll be the the project for next episode. And then we'll see about seeing if we can finish up the fuel. Because we got all the way up to the dimethyl hydrazine. So we now need just to make some hydrazine. And uh, yeah, then combine the two and to make our rocket fuel capsules. And then combine those to make our actual rocket fuel modules. Excellent. All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.